Hi, good morning. Hi. I'm uh, Ross McCarrini, the chair of the board of the city of San Francisco. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever really heard uh, from the sheriff's office before, but when I was a supervisor representing the uh, fifth district, which was the eight in the sunset, Japan town in the Fillmore and Gates Valley, it was routine for me to want to go to and constantly be engaged with a number of the community groups. Uh, and I carry that uh, uh, approach uh, as a sheriff forward. And so I want to make sure that uh, as many groups as San Francisco has throughout its uh, wonderful neighborhoods that they hear also from uh, a department head, uh, but especially as it concerns public safety and the work that we do uh, in the sheriff's department. Uh, there are some notables that I think um, many people in San Francisco may not be aware of, just like many do not even know the difference between the police department and the sheriff's department uh, and what our jurisdictions and division of labor uh, may be. But one of those notables is that we're now one of the most undercrowded jail systems uh, in the United States uh, per capita, where uh, there has been uh, uh, a, a decent amount of success in trying to uh, divert people away from incarceration and so that they are then assigned either through behavioral health court or drug court. Now we have a veterans reentry court, which is long overdue, uh, and a number of other sort of specialized services so that uh, we're not just reflexing, which has been commonplace in San Francisco, uh, as well as in California, as well as in this country, about just incarcerating first and then worrying about rehabilitation later. Uh, thanks to my predecessor, Mike Hennessy, who's longest serving sheriff in the state of California, 32 years, uh, we have uh, continued to uh, maintain uh, his approach, but we've really amplified it uh, in a number of ways. We're the first sheriff, county sheriff's department uh, in the state uh, that has, uh, I'm sorry, in the country that has a charter high school that's built in, known as the Five Keys Charter High School. While that had already been in existence for a few years, uh, we just signed the contract just this year, a few months ago, that the largest uh, jail system, not just in the United States, but on the planet, which is Los Angeles, is now importing our high school, known as the Five Keys, San Francisco Sheriff's Department, Five Keys Charter High School. Um, what's uh, significant about that, um, both I think in the uh, messaging that uh, I think uh, gets lost in the debate, is that you know, the U.S. has overbuilt many prisons uh, and maybe at the expense of public dollars going to public education in building those prisons and towards incarceration, that here you have a municipality with a county high school uh, that has proven its worth because of lower recidivism, repeat offender rates, uh, well-proven studies that have been done both on the left and the right from criminal uh, justice analysts. And now we've just exported what has been tested in many ways uh, into the largest jail system uh, no, in Los Angeles. And since both of us dot the map of California from the south to the north, in a recent meeting that I had with Governor Brown, as we are checking in, as he does with the elected sheriffs from around the state, about how it's going with state prisoner realignment, which was enacted nearly four years ago, where state prisoners are coming back from the state to the county because of overcrowding and the state's failure uh, to really reach its goals on uh, rehabilitation. We're managing it well in San Francisco, which has people sort of in this kind of like